Well, I guess it's going to take me time to get the hang of it, but I just did my first live stream video on Instagram. Um, so if you want to go check out my Instagram page, it's also at Ryan Van Wyke. <coughs> um, my name also on Twitter is also Ryan Van Wyke, same thing with Facebook, so you can check it out there. Um, but I want to get to, um, to the biggest thing that's been going on today, and it's 45 claiming that he aced the cognitive, test, the cognitive test, which he didn't, but the White House won't give any further details on what supposedly he aced. Um, according to this, 45 on Thursday volunteered to Sean Insanity that the faux news host that he has very recently that he very recently took a test at Walter Reed Nas National Military National Military Medical Center measuring his mental mental acuity and aced it, which he didn't, but the White House would not say when he took it or why. 45 boasted that his success on the test surprised his doctors as he continued to attempt to make a campaign um, issue of whether his presumptive Democratic nominee, um, former Vice President Joe Biden, was mentioned unfit. If you want to take a look at, at, at somebody who's unfit, it's 45. Um, and, and 45 made the lie that the doctors were surprised. And I technically would not be bragging about this because the doctors might not have said that. Um... Um, he says I actually took one when I was very recently when I when I was the radical left were saying were saying is he all there is he all there and I proved I was I was still that I was there no you're not. Um, he claims because I got I aced it I aced the test forty forty five step who's seventy four in an interview with insanity. He went on to say that Biden should take that same test. And he should and and he should take the same exact. Test a very standard test. I took it at Walter Reed Medical Center in front of doctors. Forty five said, and they were very surprised. No, not real. I don't. I doubt that they were. They said that's an un, that's an unbelievable thing. Yeah, it's unbelievable. It's all the fucking crimes you committed. Really, really, does anybody do what you just did? But he should take that same test. Technically, forty five. Yeah, this this test is easy. And I said, and I watched Fern Cousins do a video on this. He's the guy that hosts Ring of Fire. He said his ten year old daughter took the same test and she aced it. So there's no reason why he couldn't have, even though even though um. Even though more than likely 45 didn't ace it as he claims he did. Um, 45 described taking the test after in, after Insanity had mentioned that Biden had said he would take, that he had taken several cognitive tests. The squatter insisted um, that Biden must have mental, that he must have meant tests he took for the coronavirus and that his rival couldn't pass a cognitive test. Age to 45 did not respond to questions about what he took, what test he took, when he took it, or whether they would make the results public. More than over more, over more than three years, the squatter has re repeatedly faced questions about his own health, including why he made a mysterious visit to Walter Reed in November of 2019. That White House officials later claimed was to, was to get a jump on his annual physical. After his most after his most recent examination, Dr. Sean Conley, the White House physician who er, who um, examined him, said. The data indicates that the squatter remains healthy, and no, no, he's not. 45 is an overweight fat fuck. The guy weighs about 300, 300 pounds, if not more. And I said, um, so that's not physically fit. And the guy's eating, and the guy's constantly eating hamburgers and freaking drinking soda and all that stuff. But Conley's summary was not the customary report. 45 and other squatters have released immediately after, um... An annual physical exam, rather than one examination, the summary was based on an unknown number of medical appointments that included the visit to Walter Reed in November and another um, random checkup conducted in April at the White House after his annual physical in 2018. The White House physician at the time, um, Dr. Ronnie Jackson, said that the squatter had received a score of 30 out of 30 on the Montreal Cognitive Assessment bullshit, a test that hospitals, inclu including Walter Reed, used to screen for mild cognitive dysfunction, and that there was no reason whatsoever to think the squatter has any issues whatsoever without his thought process. Jackson had, set, had set, said then that 45 had asked to take the test. Um, the Montreal Assessment is a 30-question test that takes about 10 minutes to complete and requires among other things, that the test taker identify pictures of animals, state the date, the month, the year, and day of the week, and repeat five words immediately and again within a short time. At a meeting of, of campaign and, and repug officials served several weeks up at the um, White House, 45 boasted, according to a person, familiar with what was said about how he had well about how well he performed on the task of repeating five words. It was unclear what when 45 took the test he was describing. Since Biden emerged as his election opponent, the squatter and his advisors have tried to hammer, hammer him home. A message about whether at age 77 I'm prone to gaffes, Biden is, is, if Biden is even mentally capable of being squatter. Um, 
Andrew Bates, a spokesperson for Biden, said the accusations were a project of 45 standing in the polls. If the 45 campaign believes the answer to their to their precipitously drop in support to, is to triple down on yet another smear that's backfired on them for over a year, he said, then frankly, maybe it's not just 45 who's missing something, but also his campaign strategists who somehow still haven't grasped that the project commit a self um, commit a self own then repeat model is accelerating their free fall. The private um, repug polling has shown that attacks on Biden's cognitive state have not done much to move the needle with voters, according to people who described the details of the surveys, and 45 is a difficult messenger for an attack on Biden as his own health has come under scrutiny. That included um, an episode during a speech at West Point last month when the squatter had difficulty bringing a water glass to his mouth with one hand, and then he walked gingerly down a ramp to exit the stage. In response to the questions that followed, 45 lashed out on Twitter, insisting the ramp was slippery, which it wasn't, and then devoted more than 10 minutes of his Klan rally in Tulsa, Oklahoma, a week later, to defend himself and insist he was healthy, which he's not. The squatter described it to the crowd as a journey down the ramp and insisted the ramp was as slick as an ice skating ring. Bullshit. Um, he claims, oh, I looked very handsome. No, 45, you're an overweight fat fuck that's fucking ugly. Um, I wouldn't want to run down the whole thing um, because the fall there would be definitely bad, so I took these little steps and ran down the last 10. No, you didn't. The, the the video did not show um did not show forty five going any faster until the final three steps. So yeah, we know he's full of shit.